And then I think the second thing that makes us reluctant to, to tell each other what we really need to know is this notion that everything at work has to be professional. And I think the problem here begins around the time you're 18 years old. So it's not quite as deep-rooted a problem as the, as the challenge directly problem. But around the time you're 18, 19 years old, you get your first job. You're right at that moment in your life when your ego is incredibly fragile and your persona is beginning to solidify. And right at that moment, somebody comes along and says to you, be professional. And I think for an awful lot of us, that gets translated to mean to leave everything that might arouse emotion or might be emotional at home and come to work, you know, leave your humanity, leave the very best part of yourself at home and come to work like some kind of robot. And it's really hard to care personally about one another as a robot. And, and at the very heart of giving, of giving radically candid feedback is caring enough about that other person to overcome the awkwardness of whatever it is you have to say, because you know it's good for them to hear it. So you have a whole thread about in order to be um, the right kind of candid, you have to care deeply about somebody. Yeah, at a personal level. Because like sometimes I want to be candid and smash people in the face because <laughs> I feel like they deserve it. Yeah. I, and you I, have a term for that, right? That's, yeah, that's called obnoxious aggression. But don't um, you have another term for that? Yeah, th there's another term for that. That's called the asshole quadrant. Yeah, uh, but, but sometimes uh, people bring it out in you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we all we all are there. I just I just had a conversation the other day with somebody who I was really mad at. And I went in intending to be radically candid, but I I real I screwed up. I you know, I handled Were you just mad? I was mad and I was obnoxious as hell. And and I, I can't really, imagine that in you, Kim. <laughs> It happens. It happens to all of us. And, uh, and, I, and I really upset a good friend of mine, and I feel terrible about it. Um, so it, it happens. That obnoxious aggression yeah. 